I am Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. Today I am doing a video that I am say I'm excited would be an understatement. I am going to be doing a brand banter on Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, my swoop shout out for today, normally it's not a company but Gerard Cosmetics does do very frequent uploads on IGTV, so I would recommend going and checking them out. Um, unfortunately, I have only ever figured out how to get on there once. If I can figure out how to get back there, I'll try to link it, but uh, yeah, I just, I can't say enough good. Um, disclaimer, before I start anything, I have gotten to know Jen of Gerard Cosmetics online. Um, I consider her a very good friend, but that does not sway my opinion of anything that I own. Also, as a disclaimer, I have purchased these items. They were not sent to me for free. I know that that's a big rumor going around that she Apparently the company buys off anybody on social media with free makeup and that's not true. Unfortunately, I had to spend my dollar dollar bill on all of this stuff. So in my goodie box, ugh. now this is a combination of a couple of orders. Um, Gerard Cosmetics had a great big sale on all of their lip, lip products a while back. Um, shipping was so fast. It was amazing. Um, if you are in Canada, there will be duty on your purchases, so something to be aware of. But given that there was a sale and the shipping cost was reasonable, I don't mind paying duty. Um, there are some companies I've ordered from from the States that all of a sudden the stuff comes and your duty is almost as much as the items and that that is a hard pill to swallow that's not the case here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through my box of goodies and show you them swatch them normally like i know i'm looking a hot mess right now i'm pre-filming because we're off on holidays shortly um i would normally and may yet try every lip product on but they are meant to stay there are different what's the word I'm looking for I just lost formulas so you know there's glosses that come off easier and some that don't and I'm not sure my lips are prepared for that but that may be coming in another video so right now let's just go through the items that I have um, the one that I well, there's a couple I use every single day, just about. But the one that I do use absolutely every single time I do my makeup is the Slay All Day Setting Spray. Now this is in Cucumber. It's almost gone. I was going to reorder it when the sale was going on, but unfortunately they were sold out of this one. But of course I have backups. I also have the small size in Coconut. And I have a little one in peach. I thought I had another one. Maybe not. I tried round everything up for the video. Another item, and it's so funny. Normally, if you've watched me for a while, I generally don't do um, a glowy look, if that makes sense. I like to look more matte, but I do like the highlight. The other day though, I used this BB Plus Illumination Illumination Facial Cream. And this is in the color Grace. And I mixed this in with my foundation and it blew my socks off. I will just show you a little bit here. Oh, Harley Jen, MUA, I need a lesson in how to swatch things on camera. So it's a cream but my goodness gracious, this is just, see I just have a little bit left on my fingers. Like you could just blind near and far. Oh my goodness. 
I just always want to just bathe in this. Makeup wipes. Um, so yeah, I've used it as a highlighter, like just on high points of my face. Um, I've also, like I mentioned, mixed it in with my foundation and it gives you that glow from within type glow, if that makes sense. But it, I also found it to be very, um, it's like hydrating. It doesn't make your makeup feel cakey. I know I have the Cover Effects um, highlighting drops, which is kind of a similar idea, but I found those sat on top of my skin more than blending in with the skin. Again, it's hard to describe some of these things. So I also have these two palettes. One is the Starlet palette and one does not have a name, but they both look the same. So in this one are the highlights. So we have Lucy, Marilyn, and Grace. And I will give these a swatch for you. So we'll start with Lucy, and then we'll do Marilyn and Grace. So Lucy, Marilyn, Grace. So there they are. And we'll try to be on camera. But aren't they beautiful? I just, I cannot with these. I will use all three of these on my face at a time. I find like this rose goldy kind of one. It's, if you put it more on towards the balls of your cheek, like I never like to take my highlight down too low, but if you kind of put it here, but then blend it up with Marilyn and use Grace on your, oh, you could just about do your whole face just with that palette. So the other palette is the Starlet palette. And I just got this one, but I love it. So we have Forever, First Class, and Wifed Up. So we will swatch those. Make sure I'm in camera. Like, aren't those just gorgeous? Like I, this color, which is the, actually I think it's the bronzer, Forever Bronzer. I will actually use that for a contour. I use this for a blush and then sometimes I'll deepen up my contour with this even. I love it. So now there are, I have two of the next palette. And these are another thing that I use. Oh, that would have broke my heart. I use these every day, a combination of them. Sometimes, sometimes one, who knows? It's the brow bar to go. Now I've got medium to, to ebony and blonde to brunette. These are fabulous. And what I like about them is so you've got your color, you've got a shade that can kind of lighten things up or highlight, and then you've got the wax. The only thing I would change about these is there is no spoolie. So I do always have to have a spoolie. So when I'm traveling, I always have to remember to bring that with me. I also use a, a brow, I have a, I think it's Chikahodo brow brush, just because my OCD, I don't like mixing the wax into the powder or vice versa. So I use the brush that comes with it for the wax and go from there. But these have a staying power. And what's so nice is like if I'm using the lighter one, I can build it up to the shade I need. If I'm using the darker one, I can use that middle shade to kind of lighten here, darken here. They last all day. Um, I will put the wax on first, put my powder on, even if I don't put wax over top, it lasts all day. Love these. So I also keep, I don't, does anybody else keep empty boxes? Like I keep, the boxes are just, packaging is pretty. I know Avid Diva, she just did a uh, video about packaging and I was like, eh, I don't care about packaging, but yet I look in my box and I've kept 
all the empty boxes. I guess I'm a little more about packaging than I thought. So another product that I picked up during the sale, and I'm so excited, I've not tried this yet because I want to try it and maybe I'll do it on a Sheet Face Saturday, or Sheet Face Saturday, Sheet Face Sunday, whatever day I end up doing it. It's the Slay Away the Day Makeup Removing Balm. Now, I've seen Jen use this on her IGTV and so essentially, does it say? It says apply directly onto dry skin and massage gently until product melts. To remove, wipe with wet cloth or tissue. Avoid direct contact with eyes. So maybe on my next Get Unready With Me or Sheet Face episode, I'll give this a whirl if I can hold off that long. And I got it in lavender because I thought, you know, chances are it'll be the end of the day when I'm using it and lavender will make me sleep better. So we'll try that. So now that we're through those types of items, we are going to get into, I don't know, the meat and bones of it. Um, Jen started her company with a mobile teeth whitening unit and it was whitening lightning. And then I think it changed to dial a, dial a smile. I should have wrote more notes on this. And that was in 2010. Um, 2014 is when they went into cosmetics and it was the shade 1995. I think that kind of gave them their, their boost and I do have that shade. Um, they pride themselves on being available and looking good on all ages, skin tones and demographics. And I couldn't agree more. So I'm going to randomly pick my items and I will swatch them and it'll be fun. So first off, I have a couple of lip pencils here. I have Cher, so this is Cher. <laughs> it, it's very dull. I use this a lot. Cher is probably one of my favorite colors. So here is Cher. Love love this then we have bel air <laughs> again you can tell i've used these products <laughs> so below share we've got bel air so it's just a little bit more pinky than the other one randomly going in we have a lip pencil and this is in Melrose Place. It's a little bit more pinky yet. We have a lip pencil in Nude. Everybody needs a good Nude lip pencil. These are so creamy. And there are days when I'm in a rush that I won't even put a lipstick on top. I'll fill my lip, throw on a gloss or the plumper and out the door I go. Love them. And they wear incredibly. And a lip pencil in Luna. very smoky here and hazy so my lighting is not looking all that I hope it shows up better there is a difference in these colors I promise so let's now go into now this is a hydra matte and this is in the color nude hmm, if I haven't said it before these smell they smell like angel food cake love them. So let's go with nude. Please don't blame bad swatches. It's, it's nude in a hydra matte. This is a lip supreme lip cream and this is in blooming hibiscus. This smells fruity. Mmm, like sweet tarts. So yummy. 
Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. <gasps> so, so pretty. <sighs> Love that. Now we've got a, another Hydro Mat, and this is in Mile High. Love that color. Love that color. We've got another Supreme Lip Cream in Destiny. The packaging on these, like the gold pencils, Hydra mats have like that matte, I don't know, frosted. And the, the GC, it's just, it's classy. I don't know, it just reeks classy to me. This one doesn't smell as fruity as the other one. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, oh if you were to put this one on top of that, oh, I love it. And now we've got a metal mat, and this one's in Cherry Bomb. It's got the frosted packaging. Cherry Bomb. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that pretty? Please focus on these. That is the perfect red. It's got just the right blue, I want to say blue undertone. Love it. So now we have Another Hydra mat, and this is in Boss Lady. Mm. It's a vampy. That's an interesting. It's it looks brown on the doe foot, but it's got a burgundy to it. Love that. And we have another Hydra mat ballet slipper. Can you tell? I kind of kind of really love these. It's <laughs> ballet slipper. Oh, that's a fun springy. Love that. We have got a bullet lipstick in Rodeo Drive. is just beautiful. Love that. We have a lipstick in Buttercup. There's not really a scent to these. Buttercup. Oh wow. That's a beautiful nude. Beautiful. We've got a lipstick in Merlot. Wow. We've got a lipstick in 1995. This is the shade that I was talking about earlier. I've worn this one quite a bit. Running out of arm space. Okay, this is a Hydro Mat and Share. I've worn this one a lot. I should almost got a backup of this. Where are we gonna? It's just got that right mauvey, mauvey. Oh, it's right here. Color. Love that. Love it. We've got. Cream Lip Cream and Angel Cake. Hmm. 
Now this one is the one that I will use. Sometimes I will get a shade of a lipstick and it might be too deep or too brown or something like that. This is fabulous for changing the, oh, not opacity is the wrong word, but just toning down a color. This is a Supreme Lip Cream in Envy. I've worn this one already. I was gonna try to keep them all together, but I'm running out of arm space. This is a Hydra Matte in Everything Nice. I've worn this one a fair amount too. Isn't that beautiful? We have got Supreme Lip Cream in Man Eater. This one seems a little bit thicker than the other lip creams, but that's not a bad thing at all. So the last three, well, kind of, last three products I have are the lip glosses. Now what is so great about these lip glosses is, first off, there's a little mirror on the side. And secondly, when you open them, I hope I don't blind anybody, there's a little light on the inside. So this is in shade Candy Kiss. is just a pretty nude gloss. We have nude. And we have Madison Avenue. So they're just all pretty glosses. Now the last product I have, and this is one of those ones that I use just about every single day, and it is the Lip Plumper. Kiss Assist Lip Plumper. As you can tell, it was clear at one point, but because I put this over top just about every day as a bit of a shine, especially when I'm using any of like the Hydra mattes, just to give it that little bit of shine, and it honestly, it gives you that tingle, but it doesn't give you a burn, which is great. And it wears nice. Um, it, it is like a lip gloss though. So you're not gonna have the shine all day, but you will get the plump. You won't get the stinging burn. And I love it. It works without the pain. So there's all those. Anybody who's interested, can I cover up all my my receipt, one of them, I did buy them all. So that is what I own from Gerard Cosmetics. I cannot say enough good about the items I have. I would love, love, love to try to, the teeth whitening um, that they have. I am addicted to the point where anytime they have a sale, I'll probably be ordering because I would love to own every color in every formula and it's a brand that I stand behind. Um, even if I didn't know Jen, I would stand behind this. I purchased my first or got my very first lip item before I knew Jen or I don't really know her, but met her on social media and loved it. And I can't say enough. The brand is awesome. I consider Jen a friend. That does not sway my opinion. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to getting many, many more Gerard Cosmetics in the future. So until next time, I love you all so much. Till next time.